Welcome to my channel guys, my name is James. Today I have a special treat for you. We're going to be making some patatas arrugadas con moja picon or wrinkled potatoes with some moja picon salsa. The very typical and very famous from the Canary Islands. The Canary Islands are located just off the coast of Western Sahara or Morocco. Each island is extremely unique. Gran Canary is the capital. Tenerife is one of my favorite islands. The north of Tenerife looks like Hawaii. The south end is desert and it also has one of the largest or the tallest volcanoes in Spain. And then I would say Lanzarote is probably the most unique. It honestly looks like the moon or something out of a movie. There's a lot of different colors. It's a little windy, but this is where most of the wineries are located on Lanzarote. So if you're wondering on vacationing in the Canary Islands, I would highly recommend it as it's cheap to go, they have good food, excellent weather, and I would also suggest going to a few of the islands so you can have an actual view of how different each and every one is. So before we get going, be sure to like the video down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already, and let's get started. So now we're gonna start with the sauces first. Traditionally, this is made using a mortar and pestle, and you can do this if you want, but we're going to be using the blender. So if you're using the blender, you're gonna put the garlic in first. I suggest blending the garlic first with a little bit of olive oil, so we're not going to over blend the cilantro. And you can also substitute the cilantro for uh, parsley if you'd like. Then we're just going to add the rest of the ingredients to it, the vinegar, the cumin, and a bit of salt, and you're going to blend it. Very, very simple. After the green sauce is done, now we can work on mojo rojo. So again, this recipe is gonna be very, very simple and straightforward. If you're gonna be using any dried chilies, I highly suggest that you soak them beforehand so it's easier to put them in the blender and blend them. We're going to be adding a bit of garlic, some chilies, again, a bit of cumin, a little bit of pimienton, which is chili powder, as well as a few tablespoons of vinegar, a bit of olive oil, and you can also add a bit of bread if you want to thicken the sauce. After you blend the sauce for a few minutes, taste it to see if it's to your liking or not. You can add a little more chili powder, a little less, and that's it. It's very simple and easy. Now for the potatoes. Now, this has to be one of the easiest and the most straightforward recipes I will ever give you. It's honestly just potatoes, water, and salt. And it's very, very simple, but the method of doing it is different. So for the potatoes you want to, if you can, they're called patatas bonitas here. You can use fingerling potatoes as well in the States if you can't find these. They're very typical for the Canary Islands. And for me, being in Barcelona, it's a little hard for me to actually find them as well. I mean, they're here, but not every store has them. So if you don't, and if you can't find any of these potatoes, you can substitute for any small potato. Now, before you start, we're going to be eating the skin. So you want to give them a good wash if they're dirty. Uh, we'll just wash them anyway, is a good idea. We're going to put them in the pan that you have. You can use any pan as long as it's deep enough you're going to add water up to the surface of the potatoes just a little over the potatoes just a little not too much and the idea is that we're going to be taking the salt we're going to reduce the water and the salt is actually going to develop a crust around the potatoes so they're going to turn whitish and it's very different in this type of cooking okay and then for the salt so you're going to be using at least I would say a good handful or more for the salt and you need to use salt molden so now that you've added the water the salt we're going to put this on high heat we're going to boil it and we're going to cook it until the water basically evaporates or the potatoes are done and you'll see what I mean by that in a few minutes all right, now after several minutes of cooking we've reduced the water if you have a little too much water you need to pour it out and then you're going to put it back on the fire. You're not going to rinse anything out. You're going to turn the heat up and we're going to dry them. And the way that you can tell when they're done is obviously by taking a knife or a toothpick and going straight through them. This is about what you want right now. This is almost perfect, except for the type of potatoes. They're very easy to make patatas arrugadas. 
So guys, if you have any questions or comments, or if you have any questions about visiting the Canary Islands or Barcelona, because I live here, be sure to ask me. And if you want more content, be sure to subscribe down below, like the video, and I'll see you guys again very soon.